Hi, it's Wayne from Dumb and Dun Dun. A couple of days I, I uploaded a video on a prepping of a wing on a, ve on a vehicle. This is on the YouTube channel and on my Instagram. So, and I use some scalping paste and for a couple of weeks now I've been meaning to review these three scalping paste that I've got. The first one is the Norton. I bought this, this is about 15 pounds a, a tube and you get 700 grams in it. I then got, so just to clarify, I bought this one just for myself. I got sent this one, press the scuff stuff. This is about um, a liter in there. So a thousand grams a liter. Uh, and the same with the raw. Because I got the scuff stuff, raw wanted to get some action in there. So they sent me out their raw scuff. Right, straight off the bat, this is the cheapest, 15 pounds. This one is the next one, it's about 21 pounds. And this is 24 pounds, so it's the most expensive. You've got roughly the same quantity in those two. Uh, I didn't like this one. It's my least favorite. And in fact, it, I used it a few times and that's it, it's been put aside. It's okay you know 15 quid it's if you want to try it out try it out but I'll probably spend a little bit extra and buy these either of these two now it's really straightforward I would say there is no winner here out of these two it's um, it just comes down to preference really you know for the difference in value you might be able to get a deal and get that at the same price as that so it's I don't think the money it's the money's not an issue it's just the use this one is definitely more aggressive than this one. Uh, it's a lot coarser, so it because it is a lot coarser, it cuts a lot faster, uh, a little bit less effort. Um, this is slightly finer, cuts really well. Preps the panel, when, I, when I'm saying cuts, I mean prepping the panel, keying all the panel up. Uh, I like this one. It, it's good for where you want to be a little bit more delicate, possibly silver, somewhere like that. You don't want to see any key um, marks on it and if you're fading out this is great for fading out areas blend out burn out whatever you want to call it that's really good because it's not aggr as aggressive as this so if you you know if you could afford both have both maybe work harder with this one um, for more aggressive keying up of the panel and then drop down to this in your blend up area like I said to you the way you use it um, you just need a little grey scotch bright, put a little dollop on there, about sort of a 10 pence size, a, a euro size, uh, a little bit of water, squirt some water on it, and just key up the panel, and then wash the panel down. So it's really straightforward, um, nice and easy to use. I ha Previously, I used to use my Norton Prep and Blend Discs, which is really great on big flat panels, but where you've got any sort of swage lines or corners, anywhere like that, it can be a little bit too aggressive and it can cut through. So then you've got to put a bit of spot of priming on it just to seal it. Whereas with these two products, you don't need to do that. You know, you, there's no risk of it running through unless you're going to be really aggressive with it, but there's no need to do that. Um, like I said to you, there is no clear winner. It has to just be your own preference. Maybe you like the smell of this one. A lot of people say they prefer the smell on this. I know it's really weird. Other people prefer the smell on that. But at the end of the day, they both do the job. They're both around the same sort of price. You just need to work a little bit less harder with this than you do with this one. But yeah, both winners for me, and I use them on pretty much every job now. And I'm really pleased with them. So I'm, I'm thankful to the two companies that sent them to let me try. When they run out, I will be buying them, and obviously in probably in order of the way they sell out. Um, yeah, I just, I'm just thinking about it really. Which one would I buy? It's such a tough call, it's so tight that I don't, like I said to you, I don't have, yeah, I, I might just, I know it's probably a bit over the top, but I probably would just have both there because I know I would use this less because I'm using this more in the prep area, uh, the blend out, fade out area, or burn out area like the Americans like to call it. Um, and then for the general big large panels there and places I wanted more of a key, especially on bumpers, I'd probably use this one.
So yeah, I think I'd have them both in the store cupboard. So <laughs> not, no dis not a decisive uh, decision there on which one is better than the other because they're so close to each other. So it comes to purely down to your own preference. Um, but that's my opinion on it. So thanks for watching. Obviously check out my other reviews and if you don't follow me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram because there's a lot more on there than you'll see on YouTube. Cheers, have a good one.